I'm just about to reveal the truth about selling AI generated images in 2023 and beyond and it's not gonna be nice so let's get started. Now guys if you're watching this video I'm pretty sure you're familiar with tools like Mid Journey or DALI 2 or Stable Diffusion. These pieces of software are becoming increasingly more popular every single day and that's for a good reason. They can do some amazing things and we're gonna explore that in just a second but it literally seems like everyone has suddenly become interested in AI. I mean artificial intelligence is at an all-time high in terms of popularity and we can even check that using Google Trends. Now, there is no doubt about it whatsoever. Mid Journey is capable of doing some amazing things. If I told you that these results right here are generated by AI a few years ago, you would have probably thought I'm insane. You would have thought I lost my mind. But these are actually generated by Mid Journey. All of these illustrations in various different styles are the work of artificial intelligence. Now, to be honest, the person who asked for these illustrations and images also has a little bit of credit because they knew how to make use of keywords and parameters in order to get this exact result. Not everyone can do it that easily. It takes a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of effort in order to learn how to properly use Mid Journey. But to be honest, if I were an artist, I would be scared right now because it literally seems like artificial intelligence can do a far better job. Not only that, but it's a lot faster. But that begs the question, can we actually take this work done by Mid Journey and resell it for a profit? Can we sell these images online without getting in trouble and turn a profit by doing that? Well, that's precisely what we're going to explore in today's video and the answer is a little bit more complicated than you think. I want you to look at this. If you search for something like, can you sell AI generated art? You're gonna find a bunch of different answers. But what I've done while doing my research is I have connected to simplify.com and that really helped me understand the whole concept. Here's the thing about it. At this point, I'm pretty sure you know what AI generated art is. I mean, we've just seen a bunch of examples right here in various different styles and various different aesthetics. Can you sell it? Well, yes, you can. That is the short answer. The longer, more detailed answer is a little bit more interesting and more informative, but we are going to explore that in just a second. For now, here's what they mean by that. In terms of legality, you are actually allowed to sell these AI-generated images. In the United States, AI-generated images are copyright-free, so you shouldn't get in trouble for using them. And they've even done a complete breakdown here of different pieces of software that you might use. For instance, if you're using Mid Journey, which is the tool I personally prefer, there are two different instances. If you're using the free version or a trial account, then you're just granted a Commons Non-Commercial Attribution International License. That's a mouthful, but it basically means that you can use these images, but you cannot sell them. You cannot make money off of them. However, if you are a paid member, you own all assets you create, meaning that you can use them for commercial purposes. So there are two different situations there. If this is your first ever time using Mid Journey, you're probably still running on the free trial, so you cannot sell them. But if you are a paid member, you can actually resell these pictures. You have the license to do so, and nobody is going to have anything against it. Now, you might think you have to pay thousands of dollars to Mid Journey in order to get that right, but that is not true. If we do just a little bit of research, if we dive a little bit deeper, we can quickly find out that if you want to upgrade to a paid membership on Mid Journey, you only have to pay about $10. That is for the basic package. Now, of course, you can upgrade, you can even get the corporate one and pay an yearly fee, but that's entirely up to you. If you get a standard package, that is basically everything you need. But I personally have the basic one and I haven't used up the 200 minutes yet, so it's pretty good for me. But the fact that I pay for it allows me to reuse those pictures and actually sell them online, which is exactly what we want. Now, you're gonna notice that each and every single one of these tools has its own conditions and terms. So that's why you wanna stay informed. You see, back in the day, DALI didn't used to allow the redistribution of AI-generated images for commercial purposes, which means you weren't allowed to sell them. But in July 2022, they have changed their terms. And so right now, as far as I know, you are allowed to reprint, sell and merchandise those items. You can even sell these images as NFTs if you wanted to, which is a pretty unique opportunity in and of itself. But now there is a little bit more than meets the eye. Once again, if you are running on a paid membership on Mid Journey, you can actually generate images just like these, which by the way, look insane. They look extremely good and you can resell them for a profit. But the problem is that some marketplaces out there do not accept AI generated images. I hope that makes sense. So even though you have the license to use them and sell them, some marketplaces will not accept AI generated images 
in order to support artists and photographers. And that makes a little bit of sense if you think about it. Once again, the things that AI can do are just insane and it is pretty scary for artists. And so a lot of different marketplaces have decided to take measures against it. Let me show you a clear example of that. And this is something I didn't know up until recently. I recently recorded a few videos about selling stock footage and images on Shutterstock, iStock Photo and Vato Elements and all of these stock photo websites. You see, what people can do when it comes to Shutterstock, for instance, is become a contributor. Then you can upload images and illustrations and all sorts of other digital assets. And you can get paid for it whenever somebody else downloads those items. So if I upload a picture of me and somebody downloads it for some reason, I will get a small payout. And I thought that you can do the same exact thing with AI generated images. But it appears that Shutterstock is going to stop that. However, if you dive a little bit deeper and you search for something like Shutterstock AI generated images, you will notice that it's a little bit more complicated than that. First off, if we check this article from vice.com, you're gonna notice that Shutterstock started to remove all AI generated images in an effort to help artists and creators and photographers. However, if we check some more recent news, we're gonna see something slightly different. You see, Shutterstock does understand that art is evolving and so is photography. And for that reason, Shutterstock will start selling AI generated stock imagery with the help of OpenAI. You see, Shutterstock will be launching a contributor fund that will reimburse creators when the company sells work to train text to image AI models. Which means that if you have already uploaded some sort of footage on Shutterstock.com, they might send that footage over to DALI2 in order to train their AI, but they will reimburse you for it. So they are not just going to do this without your knowledge. You will get paid for your contribution, which is great. However, Shutterstock is also banning the sale of AI generated art on its site that is not made using DALI2 integration. In comparison, getting images, for example, has banned the sale of AI art. And that's why it's very important to dive a little bit deeper and try to really understand the conditions and terms. More often than not, AI generated images and AI generated illustrations will be turned down. However, some of these stock footage companies like Shutterstock do have some deals with specific softwares. For instance, Shutterstock has a deal with DALI2, which is just a product of OpenAI. That's the actual company. But it is definitely worth looking into. I think the opportunity is still there, but it might be a little bit more difficult to understand it. I personally see no reason why you wouldn't be able to sell these pictures because you have also contributed to their creation. But all in all, these companies are free to make their own choices. However, guys, I think we are missing out on something. We are basically trying to resell these images as products. But what we can do instead is sell them as a service. I don't know if that makes sense yet, but it will in just a second. You see, we've literally got a piece of software here that can generate any image you can imagine. So instead of generating images on command and then selling them on the internet, what we can do is take orders, take custom orders from somebody else and then implement the drop servicing model. We can take that order, send it over to Mid Journey, DALI, Stable Diffusion or whatever other software you are using. And we're just gonna be the middleman who keeps the profit. Mid Journey will do all the hard work and we get to keep a fat commission. Here's a very clear example of that. If you connect to Etsy.com, and you go to the art and collectibles section, you can quickly notice there are a bunch of different artists on Etsy selling their services. Some of them are selling custom portraits, for instance. Here's another example, and here's another one. And I could keep on going for ages here. Each artist has a different style, they have a different theme, a different thing they are doing. But all in all, if you zoom out, each and every single one of them is doing the same thing. They are taking custom orders, from clients doing the work and sending the result over to their customer. But we can do the same thing. Even if you're not an artist, you can list your service on Etsy.com and each time you get an order from a client, you can switch over to Meet Journey, which by the way costs $10 a month. That's not a huge investment. And you can ask it to deliver the result. You can keep on improving that result until you're satisfied or until your customer is satisfied. And you can even ask Meet Journey for almost unlimited revisions because this is not a person. It is working around the clock. If you want to ask it to do the work at midnight, it is going to do it at midnight. And it's almost instantaneous as well. It doesn't take longer than 60 seconds. We can do the same thing on any other freelancing website. You can connect to Fiverr.com for instance, set up your own gig, and whenever you receive an order, you'll switch over to Mid Journey, send over the instructions, and get the work done. Look at this. I'm just gonna type in custom portrait. Let's see what we can find. Well guys, there are about 1700 different services. And again, each and every single one of these sellers will have a different style. You can do the 
sing. You can find your own unique style and you can ask me journey for help. Let's just give it a try right now because I want to illustrate that this actually works and I'm not just throwing words around. Look at this. This freelancer right here is drawing people as Simpson characters, right? That's a very simple concept. It's easy to understand and it's definitely impactful. So they are taking pictures from their customers and turning them into Simpsons characters. Mid Journey can do the same thing. What you want to do is head over to one of the newbie rooms. And once you're here, you want to upload your picture. By the way, you're going to notice that a lot of people are doing the same thing. This is actually a live chat where you can see what other people are working on. And that's pretty cool too. But let's get back to it. I'm going to upload my own picture right now and I will ask me Journey to make that change to it. Now, once you've done so, you want to click on that image, you want to find it in the chat, and then click on Open Original. Just follow along because it's pretty simple. Now, you want to right click on it, copy the image link, and head back over to the Discord server. Now, type in slash imagine, paste in your link, and then add the instructions. I'm going to add a comma and then type in something along the lines of as a Simpsons character, ultra details. I'm also going to make use of keywords. I'll ask for a full HD picture. Now I'm going to send that over to me journey and it should start working on it. ASAP. In the meantime, you can take some inspiration from what other people are doing as well. But at the end of the day, you just want to find your own style. And it is just a matter of trial and error. And guys, this is what it came up with. Now, I gotta tell you, this is a pretty unique style here, but it does resemble the Simpsons character style. Now, I'm pretty sure you can keep working on that and get it to resemble it even more, but you got the point here. Mid Journey has got some insane capabilities. And so, the truth about selling AI generated images online is that it is a little bit more difficult than you would think. You do need to check the terms and conditions of the specific marketplace where you are selling these images because some platforms do accept them and other ones do not. So you want to do your research beforehand just to make sure you're not wasting your time. But generally speaking, you can actually make money with AI generated images online. You just got to be smart about it. That's it for now and thanks for watching.